Phase Research Organization was quick to climb up the stairs of success. What all the other space agencies couldn't achieve, ISR could. Today, I'm going to speak about the past, present and upcoming missions of ISR. On July 20, 1969, Neil Armstrong and his mate Edwin Aldrin from the USA landed on Moon. ISRO officially started its works on August 15, 1969. India Space Agency came to the fore only after man first landed on the moon. The first Indian satellites were small sounding rockets of which parts could be carried on bicycles or bullock carts. Later, the size and efficiency of the satellites increased. Large records are now owned by ISR. Chandrayaan-1 launched in 2008 found traces of water on the moon. Mars Orbiter mission of 2014 made India the first Asian nation to reach the Martian orbit and the first nation to achieve it in a maiden attempt. On February 15, 2017, ISRO successfully launched PSLV C-37 carrying 104 payloads. Chandrayaan-2 was an ambitious mission. The plan was to land a rover on the south polar region of the moon. But the lander lost control 500 meters short of the lunar surface and crash landed on the moon. But a failure cannot be judged as one if the rate of success is greater than the rate of loss. Astrosat is India's first dedicated multi-wavelength space telescope. It was launched on September 28, 2015. With the success of this satellite, ISRO has proposed launching Astrosat 2 as a successor for Astrosat. The next major missions of ISRO are Aditya L1, the country's first solar mission which will help to study the sun's outer atmosphere, the corona, and Gaganyaan, India's first manned mission. The unmanned test expedition will be held this year. Aditya or Aditya L1 is a mission to study the sun. It has been designed and will be built in collaboration between the ISRO and several other Indian research institutes. It is planned to be launched by the end of 2020. Gaganyaan is a fully autonomous 3.7 ton spacecraft designed to carry a three member crew to orbit and safely return to Earth after a mission duration of up to seven days. Its service module is powered by two liquid propellant engines. ISRO has signed a pact with the Russian firm Glav Cosmos to select and train Vyomanots for this mission. ISRO doesn't focus on space science only. The development of poor people, education of poor children, providing telemedicine facilities in hospitals, telecasting weather for farmers so that they can grow the right saplings, etc. One example is the district of Jabwa in Madhya Pradesh. The people there were illiterate and poor. The men were drunkards who focused on getting more drink and the women, the sole breadwinners, worked day and night to make ends meet. The children didn't go to school and helped the women in household chores. They were under the influence of corrupt officials who focused on personal gain only. ISRO arranged satellite televisions for people with channels that spoke about the dangers of alcohol, importance of educating children, farming lessons and so on. Now, Jabwa is a developing district. The people go to work and the children go to school. ISRO arranged televisions in schools which explains lessons which the teachers are able to teach well. ISRO is one of the pride of our nation because it taught us that sky isn't our limit. Thank you for watching this video.